All right, we're doing the taste test here with the venison ground meat that I made. Let's back it up a little bit. Got him right in the lung. That's awesome. Okay, not that far. Much better. So I bought some pork back fat and beef suet to mix in with the venison that I cut up, and then I ground it up. And we're gonna do a taste test between the two different versions of this ground meat. This stuff is mixed with pork fat, and this stuff is mixed with beef fat. And both of them are 80-20. And we're just gonna try some meatballs and see what we like more. Poured oil on me. Why did I do oh, that? Man. Darn you. You don't go there, you go here. Thank you. Observation number one is the the pork fat is just kind of squishy. And the beef fat is a little, the venison with beef fat's a little more firm. Okay, I don't want many flavors to interfere, so I'm only putting salt on this. Same amount of salt in each meatball. Skadoosh, skadoosh. Beef is going on the left. Yeah, these these beef boys are a lot more solid and firm. All right, pick a meatball. I'm not gonna tell you which one's which. Mm. <laughs> mm. Good. It's probably hard to comment before you've had both. Juicy. So juicy. <laughs> if you're gonna taste a difference or not. I don't know if I taste a difference. Well, there you have it. <laughs> They're both really good. I feel like I can taste a difference. I wouldn't have... Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I can't tell. Both were amazing. We get to eat that for dinner right now? Huh. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the best thing though. Conclusion is you can't go wrong. Shit, oops, I put all the ice cubes in the water. The beef fat cost me like a tiny bit less, so I guess I'll just go with that. <laughs>